Hello. Welcome. Uh, if I can, hopefully you can hear me. My sinuses are absolutely killing me. But I thought we'd come in today. I finished up the uh, scrambled egg breakfast factory uh, yesterday and got all the XML work done. So I want to, want to come in t today and we're going to pop it down and we're going to give it a quick test. But I want to get through the night so we have some light. We are on my test map so money is not an object. I have the warehouses pre-filled for any products we may need. Uh, slow back down time. We're going to hit our garage. We're going to sell off the fermenting house because we know it's tested and complete. So we're going to sell that off. And that's going to give us our blank area up here to work with. Oh, uh, we got a pallet back here yet. So grab some speed. Get this one pallet out of the way. Strength. No, I want you on. So let's just get this pallet out of the way for now. Should just grab the auto loader, but we're going to need it. Forgot I had a pallet spawned out. I drop you there for now, and let's see if we have, let's see if it's even showed up in the store, if we have it done properly. Yeah. And bring it over here, we'll spin it around. Plop her down. And then we should get a build menu for our project. So lumber, steel, drywall, concrete, plywood, wallpaper, we'll build it. And then we have, we're going to have scrambled eggs, hash browns, western omelets, Denver omelets, and orange juice. I am going to <coughs> check the log really quick before I build this uh, just to make sure I have no errors in the log before we build it and then we'll check it again alright so we are missing the water spray i3d alright so let us I'm gonna fix the while well, you guys just chill and stare at the a, a wall I am going to open up the file for the particle systems I am going to open up the water spray particle from another mod the pie factory I'm going to export it into So I'm going to extract the water spray p particle that we're I3D that we're missing from the Pi Factory, put it into the file for the scrambled egg company. 
I'm going to re-zip the scrambled egg factory copy paste it into my test folder oh I can't because the game is open alright so I am going to really quickly we are going to quit out of here I'm gonna just save it we're gonna have to we'll sell it and rebuy it actually let me go into the store I'll go into the garage let's sell this no I'm gonna save and quit I'm going to <clears throat> excuse me you guys will see a funky screen for a minute copy I'm gonna paste the updated version into my test folder and then I'm just gonna come in here and crank the game right back up Scramble Lake Factory is still checked in the box. It is. Alright, so let's restart. So let's try this again. We're going to open up a store. Island placeables. Let's grab the species scrambles. And again, everything should be good with the menu you can stare at the wall. I'm going to check the log real quick. And we have a problem with the scrambled egg palette XML. What is wrong with the scrambled egg palette XML? Fail to open. Fail to open palette scrambled eggs palette XML. So it's probably named wrong. So species seven palettes. It's scrambled egg palette without the S. Uh, let me check the mod description. Palettes, scrambled egg, EGG palette, XML. So why are you giving me an error in the log? Palette, scrambled. It wants to open it with an S. Scrambled eggs, palette, XML. Oh, I know why. Because in the... I have to fix it. And sorry guys, I'm just doing this off camera really quick. Uh, let me go into... I just have to remove an S in the one line. Alright, save you. 
Now let's try this again. I got to delete my folder, rezip my folder up. Uh, and once again, going to exit out of here without saving. You guys can see a funky screen for a minute. I'm going to take the updated file, throw it on my test map. And then I'm going to fire this back up real quick. And that should be the last error in the log. So now again, I just want to get a little bit of speed. Let's go into the store. Plop this back down. menu. <coughs> I'm just going to check the log again real quick. And no errors in the log. So I know these triggers work to build the factory. So for now I'm just going to, we're just going to purchase it all. instead of you spending a half an hour watching me drive plywood and wallpaper and steel and all that jazz into the factory. So I know it works. Uh, let's grab cement truck. We'll get a little bit of a view. It's going to take About let's grab some I'll go to two thousand speed. It's gonna take about two to two and a half game days to build. Oh, and I've got a couple extra openings in the fence I'm going to have to fix. Alright, so I know i got to fix the fencing.
come out of here. I want to stand over here where the cone was, just so we can see how far we are on the build project. 80%, 85%. Ninety percent. Ninety-five percent. Hundred percent, but I'm gonna go till it's light out. Alright, let's go down to one speed. Alright, now I'm just gonna do a did I Forget, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I knew I was missing a section of fence right there, so that I'm gonna have to fix. Yeah, it's just that one section of fencing we're gonna have to fix. Uh, roll door should work. Uh, make sure nothing's floating. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Looks like just the one missing section of fence I'm going to have to put back in. Uh, we have, it looks like all of our signs are working. Uh, there we go, this door is working. And we should have our global company menu, yeah, so that's working. So let's fill this puppy up. <coughs> Sea salt is up first. Let's grab our tipper. Uh, well, we might as well throw water in. <laughs> since, we, since we have the tanker, let's just throw our water in there first. Water trigger works. stay on here. I need the K100. I need this guy. So, first up was uh, sea salt. Throw a load in, make sure the trigger works. him here for now. I know we're going to need him some more, but I'm going to run down the mountain because we need some eggs. So let's 
head down the mountain to the warehouse and grab a load of eggs. Hope everyone is doing well today. Ooh, I almost rolled it. Now I just gotta remember what warehouse to put eggs in. eggs at 50. Uh, let's change the setting on here <coughs> to our egg boxes. egg boxes and I'm going to spawn out another 50 make sure that factory works when we crank it up Testing, that's all I should need. I'm not going to take a full load. But before we leave, I'm going to spawn out a load of pallets and a load of power cells. So let's grab a load of power cells. And 20 will do, and then our pallets in this one. No, pallets are going to be in this one. A load, a dump out a load of pallets. There we go. And then we'll come back down and grab those. Uh, you're not the truck I need, you're the truck I need. All right. Let's go get our eggs in the factory. Richard, hello, welcome. I am testing the new um, Species 7 Scrambled Egg Factory. Uh, it's, um, in Species 7 streams on his YouTube videos, I'm always teasing him that he throws his egg boxes around and scrambles them. So I'm constantly teasing him that he scrambles all of his eggs. <coughs> so I built a species scrambles factory 
that makes scrambled eggs, hash browns, western omelets, Denver omelets, and orange juice. And I just finished building it uh, this morning. I got all the XML work done, so now I'm just testing all the triggers to make sure the factory is going to operate. And the only flat spot on the mainland I had to put it down and test it was up here at the top of the mountain. So yeah, this is not my single player map, this is my test map. I had preloaded all the warehouses with everything I need for testing. So this is the species scrambles and I think I have eggs going in this trigger as well but I could be wrong yeah All right, so there's our eggs back him off to trigger a minute Alright, so we need, we have a little bit of eggs, that's enough to get us started. Uh, we are going to need steamed potatoes. Let's get them in here. No particle effects for steamed potatoes. I'm going to have to put that on my to-do list. Alright, so that's our steamed potatoes. So, what do you need? Pallets and veggie oil. Pallets and veggie oil. Alright, so we need onions and tomatoes. Grab some onions or tomatoes, whatever pops up first. There's our tomatoes. Uh, let's grab some onions. We still need our veggie oil. Uh, that should take care of this one. So you need pallets veggie oil. All right. Um, and then you're going to need ham and sausage. All right. So let's grab our tanker. <laughs> drop this guy off here, grab our tanker and throw some veggie oil in there. Alright, so we should be able to put some veggie oil in here. that trigger. Alright, so the trigger works with the veggie oil. And for testing, that's really all I need. So let's just 
empty that out. Let's get this guy out of the way. grab our flatbed and let's go down and grab a load of ham and sausage. I know I forgot to put oranges in there for the orange juice, so we get back up, we're going to have to throw some oranges in there. <laughs> Figure out where the ham and the sausage is. You are pizza. You are. Yeah, so you must be over here. Yep, so let's grab a load of ham or sausage, whatever one comes up first. On them pallets out. Are they inside? Yep, they're inside. And where did I lose my truck? Change them back to regular pallets. Regular size pallets. There's our sausage. Let's grab a load of ham. And like I said, I just I preloaded these warehouses for testing. So I wouldn't have to make the product to test the factory. Alright, so here's our ham and our sausage. Get these up the mountain. And like I said, off camera, I'm probably going to take my test map and I am going to remove the Hershey factory completely so it's not even on my map. And I'm going to use the area over there near the logistics center for testing.
this way I won't have to keep driving up and down the mountain. See if the trigger works for ham and sausage. Okay, did I not put them on the right trigger? Or does that trigger have to be adjusted? Did it take any of them in? Oh, it started to take them in. Alright, so this trigger is going to have to get adjusted. Let's see if it'll take them on the trailer. There we go. Just leave them on a trailer. So I will adjust this trigger a little bit so we can drop them off to gr on the ground. Come on. Get off of there. I will adjust this trigger a bit. Uh, just get our strength on. Oh, I just wasn't back far enough. All right. All right. So two things to fix: one section of fence that's missing, and adjust the trigger. Alright, so what else? I know I need to go down and get pallets and power cells. Alright, so... A scrambled egg just needs pallets and power cells. Pallets and power cells. Pallets and power cells. And then, let's throw... Oh, we, we get a load of sugar. Darn it. Alright, we can get the sugar and the power cells together. And let's just throw some oranges in here. And I'm going to need this truck again. Grab some oranges. Grab a load of oranges. So let's grab, I'll turn strength off, let's grab our power cells and our sugar. And we just have to go back down for a load of pallets. Or we'll grab the pallets. Is there a different setting?
oh, I'm not going to load the sugar and power cells on the same load because they're two different triggers. So let's grab the sugar and it will come back down. So if you were sugar, what warehouse would you be hiding in? Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not this one. Yeah, if you were sugar, you'd be hiding in this warehouse. Grab a load of sugar. come back down for the power cells and the pallets. This is why I don't play anymore, because I'm, after spending hours of building and testing, I don't even feel like playing. It takes me an hour and a half to test a factory, make all the adjustments to it, and by the time I'm done hauling pallets around and product around for an hour, I don't feel like playing my game. in here. Definitely want to adjust this pallet trigger a little bit. Yeah, I'll definitely adjust that trigger. Let's see if I drop them. Yeah, that pow that trigger definitely needs to be adjusted. Let's grab our power cells and pallets.
since we're on the regular palette setting already, we're just going to grab the power cells first. Now we'll just come back down and grab the pallets of pallets. They're a different setting on the truck. Now, if this trigger works really well for the pallets and the and the uh, power cells, I may switch it to where you have to drop all the palleted product off on, on this other trigger. And leave that great for just the bulk products and the liquids. See how this trigger works for these pallets when I drop them on the ground. Yeah, much better. So we're going to go in and we're going to change the XML so we drop all of the pallets off over here. Not sure why we have to just lift that up a bit, but we can adjust this trigger a little bit, but I think it's going to work a little bit better than the other one. What, you don't like these power cells? I know you're not full. Or did I put the wrong total in for power cells? Nope. You got plenty of room for power cells. Why do you not like this pallet? You just don't like that pallet. Alright, take you off the trigger, and we'll bring you back into the trigger. I just don't like that pallet. Let's go get the pallets. I do notice though with Global Company in general, once a pallet starts to unload and stop loading for some reason, and you take it off the trigger and put it back on, it really doesn't like that pallet any longer.
but I did notice that with palettes in general on uh, multiple maps. Well, let's grab. Palettes, palettes. get you changed to medium pallets. See if this trigger likes these pallets. Uh, let's get you out of the way. Just don't like that battery. Oh, there we go. We'll come in and adjust that trigger. See how it takes these. Just get a little bit closer to the box. Yeah, let's let's adjust this trigger. adjust that trigger as well. But this should crank up the factory, so all of our lines should be active now. So our scrambled eggs, our hash browns, and our orange juice. So all of our lines are active. So let's get a little bit of time going. Take it 
back down to one speed. Now we should have some pallets in here. So we have our scrambled eggs, our hash browns, our western omelets, and our Denver omelets. Alright, so let us close that door because I want to make sure the automatic doors work. Alright, so let's see if we can spawn these out. Scrambled eggs. One. Alright, so you you spawned out hash browns. I saw you spawn out. Uh, Western omelet. Alright, you spawned out Denver omelet. And you spawned out. So all of our pellets are spawning out. Now let's test the doors and the cell trigger. Who's buying our egg products? Aldi's, oh right up here at the Castle Cafe. We can sell everything right up here at the Castle, not have to drive that far. Alright, so you are, I'm going to take you back to regular size pallets. And I passed it. Regular size pallets. Turn you on. Zoom in a little bit. Now this door should open by itself. And we come through here pick these up and then this other door should open by itself. Alright, so let's test our cell trigger. Cell trigger works. And then let's just see if the trigger works to pick up an orange juice, our sewage, and our trash, and our dead power cells should spawn out. Should be able to spawn. I don't know if we have enough. Uh, you would even have enough to spawn out a full pallet of dead cells, but that should work. Let's grab. Let's get you back out of the way. Uh, let's grab the tanker. some orange juice made but unfortunately the sewage, the trash, and the orange juice all have to s work off of the same trigger hmm. and did I not, I probably put the orange juice in the wrong trigger Yeah, because I am in the trigger. And I am 
definitely not getting a signal to load the orange juice, or the orange juice hasn't been put in this trailer yet. This trailer may not be updated yet for orange juice. Let's try the little Unimog. I don't know if that trailer holds orange juice yet. That one's fill type specific. So I may have to update that tanker before we can put the orange juice in it. Let's see if we get a trigger with this one. Alright, so this one will let me start filling. What do you take? You just take the sewage. Alright. So we definitely need to check the XML to see if I have the orange juice in the correct trigger. So you'll take the sewage. Will you take the trash? Let's see if we get... A uh, yeah, let's just smash our other truck. And let's see if we get the trash signal. So, yep, you'll take the trash. Uh, so let's see why I'm not getting a, a trigger for the orange juice. Because I don't know if this truck takes orange juice quite yet. Yeah, it's not been updated for orange juice, so I don't have anything currently in the game that will take orange juice, since it's a new fill type, so that's why I'm not getting a trigger to pick up orange juice. But let us adjust this trigger. I don't see anything floating. Our Yep, all of our smoke is working. Our refrigerated warehouse. Yep, our fans and our cooling system is working. Doors are working. Displays are working. I don't see any floating signs. Uh, so let us let us save this. And we'll quit out of here. change this to my desktop so you guys can see what's going on. So let's get in here and we'll adjust the <coughs> trigger a little bit for the pallets. Sometimes if it sits up too high, you just got to drop it into the ground a little bit. But go back to where it was. Let me get a uh, create. A 
a plane under the so I know where the ground level is and like I said sometimes if this trigger sits up off the ground too high it won't take the pallets properly now it looks like this trigger may not be sitting square to the ground either and we'll take it up a little bit taller and then exact fill route uh, let's make you a little bit wider and bring you up a little bit uh, so that sh I should adjust that trigger now the section of fence that's missing is going to be tricky because it's in between the building and my build uh, so you're an end where is the section of fencing right next to it so you I want I want to get the section of fence that's missing put back. Oh, and you're going to be way too long. Alright, so I'll deal with that missing section of fence later off camera. Let's get rid of our plane. And we'll save this. I can close this. Let's go into our XML. Uh, let's check the log, make sure I had no other errors. Yeah, no other errors with the new factory. Let's go into here and let's change our inputs. Alright, our A can stay bulk. Let's change the ham to the other trigger, to the pallet trigger. Let's change the sausage to the other trigger. And let's change the sugar. the other trigger. And then our output orange juice isn't the correct trigger. Right, so let's save this. Let's delete that. Zip this back up. I will throw it in my test map. And then let's grab uh, the truck pack. And we need the Ritchie Island tank trailer. So I'm going to create a new folder. And it is Ritchie Island is capital tank trailer so let's go Richie Island underscore tank trailer so I have to unzip it Richie Island Tanker, oh Tanker Trailer, so let's just copy that paste it in here R-I-C-C-I -I Island, it's Tanker Trailer renamed Tanker 
trailer. Uh, let's unzip you. And let's go into the XML. And we need to add orange juice. It doesn't matter where. Add orange juice in here. Save it. Alright, so let's delete this one. Zip it back up. Uh, let's copy that into my test holder and overwrite the tanker that's in there. So we should now be able to load our orange juice. And we also now have to test our um, other trigger. So I'm going to stick you back onto game capture and let's crank our test map back up. back up to the mountain. Now this truck should be updated for orange juice. So there's our orange juice. So that trigger works. Now let's see if our uh, pallet trigger works any better. Drop you off. setting are we on? We are on regular size pallets. Let's just pick up these couple of sugars. And then we'll go back down the mountain and grab some other pallets. Turn auto load off. Now this pallet, this trigger should take these a lot easier now. Well, like I said, should. I may have to turn the speed up on those pallets so they empty quicker. Yeah, so I think it's just the speed of those pallets. They empty so slow. Let's grab a couple sugars, some power cells, some ham and sausage, and see if that trigger works any better. And then I want to build some kind of tank over near the trigger that we have to pick the orange juice up in, since orange juice is a, just a bulk liquid.
also park you there a second and just get a little bit more speed. Alright, so let's grab like five sugar. I want to grab like five ham and five sausage. Spawn them out and then let's grab like five power cells. And see if that trigger works any better. Uh, let's pick these up. Right, which one was the sugar in this one? Yeah. Make sure we're on regular size pallets. We are. Swim a little bit. So let's grab our sugar. Let's grab our ham and sausage. And then let's contaminate it with battery acid. And let's see if... Oh, no, 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 do not tip over. Let's see if uh, this trigger takes these pallets any better. So hopefully this trigger is going to work a little bit better. Yeah, I just need to adjust the speed up on some of the pallets so they load a little bit quicker. Yeah, but uh, that's much better. Now, uh, I'm going to probably move this water tanker. I have an idea. I'm going to move that water tanker and move our water fill trigger. 
um, probably over next to the building, sort of here. And I want to put a tank over here with a pipe running to the factory and so we can pick up our orange juice. So it doesn't look like we're picking up our orange juice with the sewage and the trash. Um, Alright, so let's... Now that we know it works, let's get the visuals fixed. And... Oh, let's go... Lighting is off during the day, so the lighting is good. I don't see anything floating. Alright, I think we're good. Let's save this. out of here. And I am going to get out of here. I am going to get a few more hours of sleep. This factory is pretty much just ready to go. <coughs> I just have one or two little visuals to fix on it. I won't bore you with that on camera. Uh, and then this factory is ready to go. So the pie factory is ready to go. The fermenting house is ready to go. And the species scrambles is pretty much ready to go. I'm not going to release them until I get the older two maps updated. Because uh, I want them to be able to work on all three maps. Uh, I'm going to get a few hours of sleep and then come back in and we're going to start rebuilding the Ritchieville um, map. Thank everybody for coming in and, and hanging out. 